Look at it. She's come so far. Hello, my name is Prue or Prue Larue, and I tend to upload pretty much at least once or well, three times a week. Uh, I don't know what days I like to upload best yet, so I just upload them as I edit them, really. Anyway, I've just uploaded the uh, going through my receipts video, and I just got my Enchanted Lustre order, and um, I went to Mecca today. <laughs> anyway, uh, so post doing my receipts and going through how much money I've spent, I've set a budget for myself and I'm holding it up. So this means this will be the last haul for at least two or three weeks now, I think. And yeah, we'll move into some other content. The next video will be uh, probably the glitter I fail. And then the actual look I ended up doing. And I was going to upload them the same day, but I'll see how much footage there actually is. I might have to do them two separate days and then I've got other stuff coming up. Let me know if there's anything in particular you're interested in seeing. I'd love to hear your opinions. Anyway, let's do Mecca first because it's going to be the quickest. I was so excited today because I went into a different Mecca store. For some reason it didn't really occur to me that I could just go to a different store. And if you watched my last haul, and thank you very much to Nancy who tried very hard to for this Pencil, I got it. So I now own uh, Urban Decay Asphyxia. They had, so I went to the Mecca in Brisbane City and they had about, they had like eight of them. And they said that the Mecca one in the city is the flagship store. So that's why it gets all the stock. I don't know if it's showing up how gorgeous it is. Anyway, but I'm super excited to finally own this and you know, that's the end of my lip pencil obsession for now and I picked this up this is more of an essential than a purchase just because she did apologize to me <laughs> yeah she wrapped it I was like yeah it's okay you don't need to wrap it and she proceeded to keep wrapping it because they love it like that Mecca and I bought this so if you're actually interested in this moisturizer this is actually an amazing package I use the Dr. Dennis Gross is it gross or gross? No. I use this moisturizer as my regular. Um, it's really good. I love it. I just use it as a nighttime thing. And then this comes with Do It All Eye Gel. And this is just a small one. And then it came with a face mask as well. Hydrating module. So maybe I'll do this tonight. Oh, I might do it tomorrow. So. This on its own is usually $88. In this pack, it's $85 and you get some extra stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, there's something else down here. What's this? Morning Limits. Oh, activating powder and a mask. Okay, this will be interesting. Oh, there's a spoon. All right, maybe I'll just film this thing because I have no idea what I'd be doing. Excited to have this in my collection. I didn't need to restock it, but I was worried that they were going to stop stocking the pack and I knew it was worthwhile getting because I love this moisturizer like a lot. Anyway, on to what we came here. What I definitely came here for. This is my Enchanted Lustre order. So there are three products in here that I've ordered myself and then I also got the Lucky Grab Bag which is meant to be at least $100 of product in there. And I mean, I can make out the shapes of some of it, but I've been sitting on this now for like quite a while. I had to go, I went and donated blood today. So I was preoccupied doing that. And then she's not feeling the best, especially with uh, my eyes. All right. Oh, oh, we're packaged again. Okay. Oh, alright. Thank you for all your love from Re or Re2. I'm trying to lush it. Oh, they've got stickers now. How exciting. I've got two little packages. Oh, yes. This is uh, the Prism Shadows. And then this is some other stuff. Alright. I 
think I'll start with this one because this is just going to be nice and small. So I did order two of these. Oh, okay, so this is my order. Cool. Alright, and then I've got... So, I'm going to go look at the order because uh, none of it's labelled. So I actually don't know. I'm going to have to label these later. Which is okay, I love labelling things. I'm obsessed. So Etsy is super annoying to navigate, I will say that. So I did pick up the Creme de la Croma Flakies and I got a Sun, I got Sunburst Fever in a sample size. This is $6. But I was just talking to Annette today from Annette's Makeup Corner. And I'm wondering if this is the same sort of product that you put in your nails. As maybe not the safest for my eyes. I'm just being a bit wary because I aggravated myself. It does look a bit chunky to be honest. I did message uh, Ritu, the owner of Enchanted Lustre, and she said that using it around your eyes should be totally fine. So maybe it's an inner corner like fun combination. Moving on. This one here is one that I've had for a little while and this is the shadow that inspired me to buy the rest of them. They come with these cool little things like this. Um, they come in a cool little packaging. Very cute. And this one's labelled on the back. And then can you see how many shades this Swiss changes? So I did, I think I, I have actually filmed a look with this but I didn't post it. And I didn't post it because it just on camera doesn't pick up as well as it does in real life. But everyone that day was commenting on my eyeshadow just being like, wow, that's gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. Moving on. So these ones aren't labeled. I believe this is going to be Heart Prism. So, oh, these ones go for $15.50 each, by the way. And Heart Prism is described as Dragon's, Dragon's Heart on Molten Lava. Shifting from pink, red, orange. Yeah. And this is Heart Prism. Oh, I'm looking forward to wearing this one. I feel like this is going to show up just better on camera. It's just like a prettier red in general than the one that I've already got like it looks beautiful in real life but you guys it doesn't do it justice and then this is another one that I ordered and this is Space Prism which is another trichrome pressed glitter a foil glitter that is pressed Space Prism or a pink blue shifting foil mm hmm this one is the least wet of the formulas that I've just touched. Oh yeah. It looks beautiful but it's quite chunky. I mean it's definitely it's definitely moist. I can blend it out. That's oh, that's intense. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Alright. Oh man, sorry, I can just like I could just sit here watching my art all night. So you don't shit out of you. Entertain me for days. So yeah, they are gorgeous and I'm really excited. And then the, the part that I've been super excited for is this grab bag concept. Oh, and this will be the shade Masquerade. This is from a Halloween eyeshadow collection, so I don't think they're all available anymore. Or they probably are until they're sold out. But this is masquerade yeah I really I was curious about the swatch and it's this one down here and it just it looks beautiful and then I better show you the other colors that I've picked up previously so I've used this one a fair like here and there and this is afterlife uh, this is from the so this one here this is from the collection as well the Halloween collection and then Elf has sort of been my surprise favourite, which is not a limited edition shade. 
nice just like a beautiful inner corner lavender this one here and it's been really nice I quite like it interesting differently different pans so sorry uh, these are all my Sydney Grace shadows that I own like well some of them and then these are the shadows from Enchanted Lustre so this one is in like a bigger pan than the others and then they I'm not sure how she's chosen to press them but they all seem like they're pressed a bit differently because uh, like this one's got like a divot in it if you can see this one's a bit flatter and yeah uh definitely definitely handmade i love that i wonder if the sydney grace are they handmade on to the grab bag so this is meant to be like a hundred dollars worth of stuff i think i was very i don't know i, just, I got super excited this was definitely a very impulse purchase for myself i just got a bit carried away so i'm just gonna empty it out down here yeah i'll definitely say i got a bit carried away with purchasing i was not sure i was here um i was excited to try like a different range of products that she would choose out from her collection or that exist in her collection so i have this which i guess is like a binding glue maybe um, I'm not sure what that is. I didn't get a piece of paper or anything, so I've got no idea. I've got this shade in here, and this is angelic. And we have sticky taped shot. So this here on my like hand. I can't see it for that. Um, it's a really nice highlighter. I guess like should I look it up now while I'm on here? I'm still struggling navigating it. Alright, so let's just see if we can see them. Alright, I can't find this product on the page. Alright, so Angelic is not on the Etsy page. But it, it appears to be a loose highlighter. I'll just build that up a little bit. And then that's the only thing on that hand if you can see any shine. But I'm going to pretty much give up on you being able to see the shine. Anyway, super cute little uh, package. And then in this one, no label, it's just blue. Alright, sealed for protection. I think I just saw a product on her page that looked like this. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh, okay, so this is Budge Proof Glitter and Pigment Elixir. Handmade item. Yeah, the Budge Proof Glitter and Pigment Elixir will change your makeup game forever. Alright, I'm excited to try that. Alright, so it could be like an interesting to see how that compares to Duraline. Ah, uh, so Inglot's Duraline is the main product I use for my pigments at the moment. Yes, this appears to be a uh, cream de la chrome pigment at six dollars Australian. I can see the picture in the picture. Ah, uh, so this is Milky Way. The multi-chromatic pigments that have the biggest color shift yet. Milky Way, a deep blue to purple shifter. Oh, to be honest, I'm not catching the purple shift. Oh, it's kind of there. Alright, alright. Hmm. I like, I like, I like this product, really. It seems really cool. And I've got two little cute test tubes of glitter. How exciting. No. Yes, I love glitter. So this is a really nice fine glitter. Maybe this is a sample. It's really, I never need that much of glitter either. Because I don't tend to do heaps of different looks with them. I'll tend to just do one look and you just don't need that much glitter. 
I'm excited to see what's in here. Are you excited? Alright. I've got labels on this stuff. This is very promising. Huh. They're like in an interesting little case. Hmm. So this is being listed as glowworm. Oh no, if I take this off then I lose what the name is. Okay, oh that's so cute! It's got like a little package. Alright, I will compare it to the others. I just really don't want to lose the name before I label it. But here it is. Oh, that looks very different on the screen. It is much more orange for me. Ooh. I wonder if I... Yeah, like that's bringing it back a bit more. Interesting. Ooh. And I have to say, the uh, these have like a really interesting scent. It's quite pleasant. It's a nice scent. It's not bad. It's just, it doesn't smell powdery. I don't know. It smells nice. So this is the shade Elixir of Life. Ooh, and this is, oh, they all have a shift. Like a, oh, damn it. I love that color. I'm so excited. Oh, I've got one of these finally. How exciting is this? Oh my god, cute little stickers now! Alright. Yeah, I can. I'll, I'll get. I'll crack into them and then I'm gonna come back and label these later. I just don't wanna damage them. Ooh. It looks like it could be meant to be. I thought it was lavender for a minute. But it's that colour. Ooh. Damn it. I love it! I'm just gently putting it back in this little home. We got Peach Noctil. There's another one. I'm curious to get some more like shadows from indie brands and to see the difference between them all. Or I'm not sure. I don't know. I like these, but. And she's releasing this amazing palette coming out soon. That's got fluorochromes in it. Woo! This is beautiful. Oh my god. And this colour just makes me like, I don't know, like, it's called Peach Nectar, it looks quite peachy. It makes me think of Georgia Harris straight away. She's always on about peaches. I tried putting her, <laughs> tried putting peach into a website the other day. <laughs> As a code, it didn't work. I was like, oh, hopefully she just has a code with everyone now. It will save me lots of time. Let me know, on oh, Georgia Harris is like a huge channel, by the way. I kind of just assume you know who she is. She's an amazing YouTuber. This looks like this is a pink lady. Ooh. Damn, that's pretty. I'm just gonna say that about all of them because they are all gorgeous and stunning. All right, and we are up to the last one. Celestial Bean. Oh, I wonder like an interesting. All right, so it's interesting. I do wonder, I do wonder how she I'm cute. I'm I'm just naturally curious about how people press things, but you can sort of see there's like a bit of a indent. But I want to know like how they get all the shadows in there, like all the different colors. I guess it's wet when they do it, isn't it? All right, so I'm just gonna do one. Oh, okay, you can't do that. So I just put my finger. I just kind of assumed they were meant to be mixed. Um, and then let, but they're not meant to be mixed at all. Ah, uh, that's a bit sad. Oh, this is like the gold in there. Well, this is going to be an interesting product. Now that I know that they don't go together. It, look at it. All right. I'm really excited to play with that and chuck it all over my eyes and see what happens. And I have to try and get this off. But like how gorgeous are these? Let me know what your favourite colour was, what you're most excited to see me play with, what you're most interested in seeing. This is a really fun thing to do and I did love doing a little grab bag like this. I feel like I definitely got my money's worth for the products and I've got plenty to play with now. I'm really excited to play with them. And I'm curious to try a few more indie brands like this. Let me know if you've got someone who sells like singles. I mean, I could go to the Devonar Cosmetics. They look cool. But I just need... 
I want to have like different indie brands in here. This is my dream goal. So we've got Sydney Grace and we've got Enchanted Lustre. So I want to know who else I could try and fit in there. Uh, let me know if you've got any good places that do good singles. I would be very curious to try them. But I'm also trying to be very mindful. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I want you to know that you are beautiful. And I appreciate you. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. And thank you so much for watching this. I hope this was entertaining.